Hello everyone, Gene Molina here, Natural Tennis Solutions. We are gonna talk about the slice. Haven't done a video on this, so it's gonna be a little bit different than what you've seen out there, but I start out by showing students to have their racket start parallel to the net, and you stand this close to the net, almost, I'm coming over the net. So from here, I teach them to get across this way. So my arm is actually coming across. Notice I'm not doing any of the forward stuff. All I'm doing is going across. We want to develop a feel for going across the ball because that is going to give you the most control on the ball when you can actually hit more of the squares on here compared to going through it further and getting less. Okay, so now I'm going to add the forward movement to it. So what we did before was we had going across only. Now we got to go forward. So as I go across, I'm still going across, but now I got to add some forward movement. So my arm's actually going to go out forward and to the right. So as I go, I'm still cutting across the ball, but it's a forward motion as well, just to get a little more depth and maybe it, for it to go a little bit more further. Oh, I might hit the camera here. Oh, I missed it. There we go. So I'm going forward and across and I'm still getting slice. Oh, I'm missing the camera. Mm. Okay, all right. All right, now is the behind the back view. I want you to see what the trajectory is over the net. And that's my buddy Jeremy helping out with the feeding. So as you can see, the trajectory varied a little. Most of them stayed pretty low. The speed on them is pretty good. I'm not going too fast. The main focus is racket comes up behind you here. Continental grip on these most of the time. You can play around with it a little, but continental for the majority of the time. Racket comes down. I'm really letting gravity do the work as the racket starts to come down i'm not really pulling really hard i'm kind of just letting the racket fall and as it starts to fall i'm rotating the core around to get that finish so that the ball can get hit from the side but then also get pushed forward at the same time so hopefully that makes sense you guys can leave me some questions, comments, and I will see you on the next one.